Hello everybody at peepingmoon.com. We are the one and only Keith and Rochelle, i.e. Kiro. So uh, we met in the Mile High Club. Uh, we actually <laughs> met on the like aeroplane. <laughs> um, so we That's flying. all. We just met. Nothing just else met. happened. Nothing else happened. <laughs> so we basically were flying to um, for separate shoots. Uh, I was going for an ad shoot. She was going for a, a TV shoot. Yeah. And um, we both were flying on the same uh, same leg of our travel, uh, going to Thailand, and that's where we got chatting. Yeah, we were literally sitting next to each other on the plane and we had some common friends who were also there on the plane with us. So you keep so. saying it's divine that we were going to meet. <laughs> we didn't actually make any moves when we were flying then because we were both in a different space in life. Um, and then uh, again it was divine intervention. A friend of mine took me to church, a church that she used to also go to. Uh, we both still at the same church, and um, that's um, where but we. But then got she's chatting. asking who made the first move. I think you did. Yes, I did make the first move. Um, it was his birthday, and uh, I wanted. I kind of had a crush on him, but I knew he had uh, no such feelings towards me at that time because we had become friends, and it was like in a friend zone. So I was trying to like let him know in on the fact that I wanted to be more than friends. So I had gone to his place and woken him up because he had done a night shoot and I was like he's going to sleep through his entire birthday so let me wake him up so I was like knocking on his door with a birthday gift for him and then went I with him to I o'clock in the morning and I wanted to sleep <laughs> no but then we had a yeah, nice uh, dinner or lunch or I don't we know we had a nice lunch leading to a nice early dinner and then I was back to shoot yeah The most interesting thing about Rochelle is um, you never know what to expect next. Uh, she can be very happy and chirper, uh, chipper and then um, in the afternoon and the evening and something upsets her and then the mood can uh, flip and then again in the night she'll be in a very happy place so she keeps you on your toes. <laughs> um, something interesting about Keith, um, I think everything with him is very thought through. Uh, there's um, a lot of you know uh, background intentionality yes he thinks about everything he plans everything ahead of time and it's interesting because sometimes it's interesting to see the kind of connections that he makes and most of the time what I think I want um, is different but then what he actually does is what I end up, end up enjoying so it's always very interesting <laughs> Oh, I know one thing that I find very irritating is that when I want to fight, he doesn't fight with me. <laughs> yeah, she likes to fight. I am a person who does not like to fight. I've actually fought with him saying, you have to fight with me. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Why do you want to fight? No, oh, anyways. <laughs> So the fact that uh, she initially proposed to me, not really proposed, but we've kind of, she took the first step into getting serious about our relationship. Um, I think I was the one, uh, not I think, I remember very clearly, I was the one who proposed uh, marriage to her and uh, it was after a lot of uh, thinking it through, um, that's how I am, um, like she said. Uh, and also it was, I think it was almost like uh, there were signs that came in. I, I, I genuinely believe that um, if God has a plan, He kind of um, He makes you see it in some way. Um, so I had this uh, my mother's friend, who my mom, who's not here anymore. Um, her friend, and she'd known her for a very long time, and she kind of saw us growing up. So when um, she had met Rochelle, uh, she went back home and she called me up in the evening. She says, "Listen, babe, I just want to tell you this. I know your mama is not here, and I feel." very strongly about this, I just wanted you to know this, um, you know how close I was to your mom and I loved her a lot, so I think uh, this girl is good for you, uh, she seems like a very nice person and she's solid, she's also very grounded um, and um, if you're thinking about something, don't think about it for too much longer, I think you should um, ask her to marry you. 
And then I said, okay, that sounds like a, a kind of a divine sign. And then another friend of mine who I hadn't met for years, a childhood friend of mine, um, he also kind of said something similar to me. Um, and it was, this was also not very far from then. Uh, so I said, okay, maybe I've been thinking about it and this is God ready to tell me it's time to make the move. Wow, that was a long answer. Um, no, but jokes apart, I think I knew also uh, when we were in the Big Boss house, we went through a lot of difficult things and just being able to be there for each other at those times was um, kind of cemented our relationship, I would say. And after that, it was more about just the timing of when to take things forward. Um, I do remember our first date, it was at an Asian restaurant. Um, which is quite funny because I think we still love to go to Asian restaurants. That's probably our favorite kind type of food to share. Um, and um, you asked me, yeah. yeah. Or oh, we both just we were both kind simultaneously of into it. Yeah, because we were just hanging out um, at another friend's place, and then we were like, okay, let's go. I call him basically anything that comes to my. Mouth. I make up nicknames every time, but the most uh, used is Fafu. We have the same nickname for each other, and it's the same nickname we have for our cats. So yeah, that's is... actually where it started. He used to hear me calling my cat Fafu, so he used to call me Fafu, and then I started calling him Fafu, and now basically everybody's Fafu. Everybody calls each other Fafu, and sometimes <laughs> you don't know who's calling who, but everyone's <laughs> Fafu. A nice uh, romantic island. Um, beautiful place, far away from everything. Definitely not have our phones with us because that's a big problem. Um, and yeah, just enjoy being in the sun, listening to some nice uh, music that we enjoy, um, eating good food because that's really important to us, and basically sipping on nice cocktails and not putting on weight. Okay, so that was your fantasy date, not uh, your ideal date. Well, that, that would, yeah. that could but I think for us, that's what date. it is. It's food mostly. Um, and a great venue, somewhere where we can talk and just hang out. We don't out. necessarily want a very opulent venue, we want something that's beautiful and quaint, I think. Yeah, but definitely good food. Uh, we keep going on dates actually. Um, so we go for dinners and just kind of surprise each other with that. So I think I our last guess... date was actually at home. Uh, Keith cooked my favorite alley olio for me. And, Even New uh, Year's. New Year's Eve, yeah. New Year's, New Year's, Eve. Year's Eve. Yeah, we decided not to go anywhere. We decided to date each other, each other <laughs> on New Year's. So we stayed home. I cooked her favorite pasta alley olio. Yes. And, and we uh, opened a bottle of wine. Cheese with yeah. a bottle of white wine. And we sat in the balcony and we listened to some lovely music and we brought New Year's in. Yeah. I think we're going to be in uh, her hometown. Um, we're going back to the root of, um, uh, of it all. We're going to uh, where we got married, uh, possibly spend a, night a couple there. of days mm -hmm. there. Yeah, so they were nice enough to invite us back, and we said that's the best way to celebrate Valentine's Day and also our first anniversary. We're kind of clubbing the two together, so we're going to go back to the resort where we got married and uh, spend a couple of days there together. Well, we're Kiro, and we want to wish all of you. A, a very, very, happy, very Valentine. happy Valentine's Day. Everyone watching peepingmoon.com. Have fun, guys. <laughs>